Have you ever wondered why Japanese engines are so reliable, lasting hundreds of thousands of miles with minimal issues? From the legendary Toyota 2JZ to the bulletproof Honda K series, Japan has carved out a reputation for engineering excellence. But what's the secret behind this reliability? What makes Japanese engines stand the test of time? Today we dive deep into the history, philosophy and technology behind the Japanese engine design and reveal why they outperform many others in the long run. The story begins after World War II. Japan's industrial base was devastated, but in rebuilding their economy, Japanese automakers took a different path from their Western counterparts. Instead of focusing on high displacement and brute force, they empathize efficiency, precision and reliability. In the 1950s and 60s, companies like Toyota, Honda and Nissan, they started producing small, fuel-efficient cars for the domestic market. But they didn't stop there. Taking inspiration from American and European designs, they refined them, adding their own cultural twist in rooted Kaizen, the philosophy of continuous improvement. In Japan, craftsmanship is sacred, known as monozukuri. It refers to the art of making things with spirit and precision. This translates directly into the way Japanese engines are built. Whether it's a tiny 660cc Kai car engine or a 3 litre turbocharged inline 6, the engineering process is highly standardized and quality controlled. Tolerance levels are tighter, materials are carefully sourced, and every component must pass rigorous inspection. Rather than rushing production to meet volume, the Japanese manufacturers focus on getting it right the first time. This is why engines from the 90s like the Toyota 1UZ FE or the Mitsubishi 4G63 are still running strongly today and they are often untouched. One secret behind Japanese reliability is over-engineering. Take the legendary Toyota 2JZ GTE. This engine built in the early 1990s was designed to handle much more power than what it was rated for. Four internals, thick cylinder walls and a closed deck block allowed tuners to push more than 800 plus horsepower on stock internals. Why? That's because Toyota didn't just engineer it for today, they built it for tomorrow and I highly agree on that. Another example is the Honda K20 series. Known for high revving durability, it was built with lightweight internals and precise machining, making it one of the most reliable performance engines in its class. This kind of engineering mechanism is rare, and very rare in modern engines, which are often designed just to do enough. So hats off to the Japanese engineers. They really designed and built these engines, not for only today, but for tomorrow as well. The Japanese manufacturing systems are some of the most advanced in the world, using methodologies like lead manufacturing, JIT and the Six Sigma. Japanese plants produce engines with incredibly low defect rates. Workers are trained in multi-skill disciplines and every part is inspected at various stages, not just at the end. This layered approach to quality ensures that defects are caught early engines that leave the factory are consistently reliable. Even suppliers are held to strict standards. 
Toyota Supplier Quality Index is among the most rigorous globally. The result? Engines that are predictable, stable, and built to last. Beyond processes, Japanese engines use high-grade materials and incredibly tight tolerance. Components like pistons, crankshafts and bearings are produced with micrometer level precision. For instance, the RB26 DETT that is used in the Nissan Skyline GTR was hand assembled by elite technicians in a clean room environment. Many Japanese manufacturers also run extensive engine bench tests, simulating years of use before an engine is ever released to the public. There is another piece to the puzzle. The Japanese maintenance culture. In Japan, regular maintenance is not optional, it's expected. The Shaikan inspection system enforces vehicle upkeep every two years. Engines are maintained meticulously and even used engines are exported globally in excellent condition. This disciplined care reinforces an engine's longevity, making them ideal for a second-hand market. So when you buy a used JDM engine, it is often healthier than a domestic one with the same mileage. Today, the legacy of Japanese engines continue. Even in the age of hybrids and EVs, brands like Lexus, Honda and Subaru still produce reliable internal combustion engines that consistently top reliability rankings. Japanese engines have won the hearts of tuners, racers and everyday drivers because they combine power, efficiency and durability. From Tokyo streets to American drag strips, they've proven themselves again and again. And it all started with a simple philosophy. Build it right, make it last and improve it forever. Now you know the real reason why Japanese engines are so reliable. It's not just luck. It's decades of discipline engineering and pride in craftsmanship if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button subscribe for more automotive insights and drop a comment telling us what is your favorite japanese engine until next time drive safe and never underestimate the power of precision dsa i'm out